community circles, lots of work like that. In fact, if you get tired of looking at me, you can browse around the website and uh, see what we have on the website, which is where the, the music is mostly, most of you will be seeing the music from the website. What? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You've seen my mouth move, but now you're going to hear my words. So I'm going to start again. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm pretty excited to do this. And I wanted to give a couple of shout shouts out. Uh, first of all, to the Vermont Jazz Center, Eugene Human, who in a heartbeat l opened up the place for me, got me the best piano in the place, got me the nicest lights. It was awesome. And and donated it all for the, for the cause of restorative community justice to Southern Vermont. So that was super. And I also want to thank Joel Eisenkramer, who in an equally Infinitely, inf infinitely small amount of time said he would absolutely take care of all the technical aspects of this entire concert which any of you who know me is like you know like a like a, uh, a truckload of flowers for me <laughs> and Joel is also known as Joel Vina which is the Indian classical slide guitar and he can be seen on his Joel Vina YouTube channel uh, among other times but every Sunday he does a live rog for peace and happiness uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, this is a, a, a benefit for Restorative Community Justice of Southern Vermont, and we are actually in the midst of changing our name to Restorative Community Practice of Vermont. And what we do is free conflict resolution for folks using restorative practices. We do restorative trainings for people. We do community circles, outreach circles, impact circles. Um, we are trying to make a we're actually trying to change the entire world into something restorative. So that's what we're about. And so any mu any donation that you give tonight, 100% of that will go to that organization because of the great generosity of the people who put this concert together for me. Um, I would also like to express my gratitude and appreciation to all the black and brown musicians across the world whose music has given me so much joy and inspiration and education. Um, virtually almost everything I listen to it comes from that diaspora and it's just amazing gift and I am very appreciative of what uh, those amazing people have done before me and, and the fact that I'm able to hear it and experience it is really fantastic. And then I would also like to acknowledge that the ground we're on right now, the, this Cotton Mill Hill in the Jazz Center, is sitting on unceded Abenaki territory. And the Abenaki, along with other native uh, peoples, were here doing a fine job of taking care of things and uh, living in a state of equilibrium with the environment, um, which was destroyed as soon as the white Europeans showed up. Um, and this territory has never been ceded, and uh, a lot of damage has been done. And uh, I'd like to s acknowledge the fact that we are here on that territory and we owe a debt of uh, understanding and appreciation and restoration um, to those who we land we've stolen. Um, and my first song tonight is going to be a song called Mrs. T's Garden. And I think I will dedicate that to Mother Earth and all the creatures, all the non-human beings uh, on the Earth who are suffering at our hands because uh, we're doing a really lousy job of tending to them. So this will go out to uh, all those beings. It's called Mrs. T's Garden.
Next song, this is a cautionary tale, a rather old song, cautionary tale from East Texas, called Hunting Quail with the Dick. Watch out.
Ouch. <laughs> ah, this next tune um, is a little more recent than the other one. This is sort of a love note to Wisconsin <laughs> called Walker, Don't Run. This next tune is a called tune called This Time. No backstory.
this next tone <coughs> was uh, titled before I knew what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> um, I, it's called Whirling Dervish, but I had never actually experienced Whirling Dervishes until just a few years ago, and that was a profoundly moving and an amazingly spiritual thing. And my music's spiritual, but the, uh, this, uh, the name for this is not exactly probably the right name. It's okay. Thank you. 
Um, this next song. <clears throat> well, thank you, Olivia. I don't know if you guys can hear. Joel just read me some lovely praise from Olivia. Thanks very much. <clears throat> Cool. And thanks to him and some other people who actually put this on, on Facebook also, which was I forgot to mention. That was awesome. Uh, enjoying your set, so cool. Nice. And while Julian is here from the dancing, whirling, it's very difficult to solve. Lots of fun music to play. <laughs> 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 Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. And actually, I, I did forget to mention. Um, I do have a, a CD with a wonderful sextet, Green Mountain Mambo. And some of these, uh, couple, two, maybe three or four of these songs tonight will be on that. And if you're interested in that, or if you're interested in the musical about restorative justice, those are all on my website, dewaltmusic.com. Um, there's a whole musical telling all about restorative justice, which you can watch, and it'll actually teach you something about restorative justice, and a bunch of my music there. And you can contact me if you want to buy a CD. This next tune um, is called Marley Juju, and it was a little kitten we had, um, a very sad and sick kitty that we got from the pond. It just never, it never made it, and it was a pretty sad situation. And so I wrote this song, or named this song after that cat, and I would like to dedicate this to um, all the people in the entire world who have lost their lives or their loved ones to COVID. And, um, it's ongoing, and it's it might be hitting in the right direction, but it's it's just been um, a disaster. And I would like to uh, dedicate this song to all those who have suffered and are suffering, and will continue to suffer from this nasty virus.
This next tune is called Quantum Hitch. So let me tell you about uh, your brother Mark was loving this from the homestead in Chile. Nice. Michael DeVoe. Oh, yeah? He says Mrs. Hitner <laughs> Dan Piano. <laughs> yeah, my mic is working. I just want to make sure people can hear this because it's funny. Uh, Mrs. Pittner taught Dan piano many years ago. I'd say he's progressed a little since then. Yes, actually, um, I found out that Mrs. Pittner kept playing the piano, but I didn't start learning about playing the piano until I went to college. <laughs> but and it was also awesome. Also, uh, cousin Scott loves this too. Oh well. Thanks for sharing, Mark, and uh, Steve West. Shouting out the Pennsylvanian friends and relations. Dan's a treasured part of the greater community up here. Oh, that's nice. Enough of that.
And this song is called uh, New Bones. And this song is called When I Get Another. Don't know what I'm going to do with it.
Thanks, Pete. Uh, this next song, uh, 25 years ago, on the night I met my sweetheart, uh, on my way to the place where I met her, a wolf ran across the road in front of me, stopped and turned around, and I stopped, and we looked at each other for quite a long time, and it was an incredible experience, and I am at this gig, and in, in the break of a gig, a friend came and with the sweetie who I never met, and at least I had something to talk about, so I said, oh man, I saw this wolf cross the road, and she goes, well, that's funny, because this morning, and like maybe three miles away from where it happened to me, a wolf crossed the road right in front of me, turned around, and looked at me, <laughs> and I was pretty excited about that, <laughs> so I wrote a song called El Lobo, and also, Talking about uh, thanking people, I really have to uh, thank my sweetheart <laughs> for putting up with hundreds of hours of me playing the piano this last year, and over the last three weeks, way too many hours of me playing these 13 tunes, <laughs> and um, our house isn't soundproof, so that's pretty remarkable. Thank you. El Lobo.
This next tune is uh, called Yellow Rose, Yellow Rose Ramble, which uh, this character I met who had a Greyhound bus and traveled around uh, the country uh, advocating for peace. He was a pretty good character.
Don't panic. We've got two more songs left. <coughs> nice. Um, this next tune is called Caprice. And this last one <coughs> is also a uh, blast of the past from the same same blaster that brought you the trouble in East Texas. And this is called Undisclosed Location.
And that's all, folks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking with it. Uh, and if you donated, thanks very much for donating. Thanks for being my family <laughs> and my friends. Uh, yeah, this is a I'm, a, I'm a lucky person, a privileged person, and I very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a really wonderful thing for me to be able to do, and I want to thank everybody again.